Example 10. Okay, I've got a circle C that has this equation. Verify that the point P, which is 10, 0, lies on the line. Let's substitute in x is 10 and y is 0 into the equation of the circle. And let's see if I get the answer 100. So if P is 10, if x is 10, sorry, then I'm going to have 8 squared here. 10 minus 2 plus 0 minus 6 is minus 6 squared. And that is 48. Sorry, 88 is 64, not 48. So that's 64 plus 36, which is indeed 100. So yes, that point lies on. Find an equation. There we are. Find the equation of the tangent to the circle at that point. So what we've got here is we've got the circle. Here we are. Okay, now I don't know where the point 10, 0 is going to be, but it's somewhere on the circle. Let's just plunk it here for the sake of argument. Okay, find the equation of the tangent to the circle at that point. So it's asking us to find the equation of this line, the tangent to the circle at that point. Right, by the way, let's mark the centre of the circle and then let's have a think about how we can do this. That could be the centre of the circle there. Right, we have to find the equation of the green line. Well, I know a point on the green line already because I know it goes through the point P, which is 0, 10, which is 10, 0. So I really need to know the gradient of that green line, and then I can write down its equation. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to find the gradient of the green line. So I'm just going to see what I could find. Let's have a look at this black line here. Now that is the radius, it's a radius of the circle, isn't it? And I know that, because the green line is a tangent, I know that that's a right angle. So if I knew the gradient of the black line, I could find the gradient of the green line because the two are perpendicular. Right, how to find the gradient of the black line? Well, I know the coordinates of the centre of the circle. I know the centre of the circle is at 2, 6. And I know the coordinates of P, 10, 0. So I can presumably, I can find the gradient of that black line. So the gradient, which I'll call M1, of that black line is going to be the difference of the Y coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So I'm going to do p minus the centre. So I'm going to do 0 minus 6, which is minus 6, over 10 minus 2, which is 8, which gives me minus 3 quarters. So that's the gradient of the black line, m1. So the gradient of the green line is going to be the negative reciprocal. So it's just 4 over 3. So now I know the gradient of the green line, and I know a point on the green line. So that means that I can write down this and use this equation here to find the equation of my line. It's going to be y minus 0 equals 4 thirds 10, sorry, x minus 10. Okay, so now we're on a roll. That's y equals 4x over 3 minus 40 over 3. So I suppose I could multiply everything by 3, make it look a bit nicer. And there you go. That is the equation of the tangent to the circle at the point 10, 0.